All right, Shalom. All praise on and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And um, this is something that we had mentioned on the block uh, Friday. And um, matter of fact, let me do this. Okay, let me click on this. All right, and this is from uh, CNBC. Okay. And uh, it's a report going into, in a matter, as a matter of fact, I'm going to read a little bit of it, okay? And uh, it says, posting pictures of the uh, CV-19 Maxine cards, okay, poses fraud, okay? Let me do that, click that, okay? Um, it says, sharing your CV-19 uh, Maxine cards on social media creates risk for scammers to sell your information online all right um let me scroll down okay it's tempting to tell the world okay as soon as you receive a coveted <laughs> coveted huh yeah a coveted uh maxine maxine jab all right but there's no reason to uh rein it in okay <laughs> For starters, sharing a photo of your max vaccination card on social media makes you a potential target of identity theft, okay? According to the BBB, all right, which is the Better Business Bureau. Not only does the personal information on the card, including your full name and birthday, make you vulnerable to scammers, it also provides all the information they need to create and sell phony cards online. These cards are often given after vaccinations, or Maxine recipients to get their first dose. If you want to post about your Maxine, there are safer ways to do it. The better the BBB advise, for example, share a photo of your Maxine sticker instead, or change your privacy settings so only friends and family see your photo or your post. All right. Why you be on there anyway is beyond me. But such visual displays are kept to keep spreading a positive public health message about the uh the vaccination to the cdc and uh prevention all right has said all right and they can go a long way toward building confidence and encouraging others to get vaccinated but with such limited supply blah 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 uh let me read that. But with such limited so supply and uh, appointments hard to come by, which is all done by design, posting about max the vaccination possibly ahead of risk of high risk candidates also presents a murky moral dilemma here, particularly as examples of the inequitable distribution of the vaccines increase. With supply so uh, constrained, there's so there's some inherent conflict there," said uh, Stephen Thrasher. All right, he's a professor. All right, blah blah blah. We do have to wrestle with the with how the vaccine has been rolled out. How you can get your man? Blah blah blah. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's that's pretty much it on that. But <clears throat> the point is that they're saying that posting the the card, okay, uh, raises risk of fraud, okay. Which I mean, look at that rinky dink, man. I could make that on a on a, a copier, okay. That that's nothing to, to to duplicate and just throw my name in there, okay. Now with that article. All right, I'm gonna pull this article up, okay? And this is uh, I think this is from Sputnik, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Sputnik News. All right, it says Denmark among the first to introduce digital uh CV19 passports in hopes of speedier reopening. Okay, let's do this. Okay, it says prove your vaccination. And as we see, the passport is on a cellular phone, digital. All right, Denmark to introduce 
a vaccination passport. Uh, that was at 144. Ain't that something? I didn't even realize I, I took that screenshot at that time. Hey, take every W we can get, man. Okay. Um, let me see. Was this one? Nah. Anyway, so they're coming with a a, a digital passport, man. Okay. Now we brought this out on the block because all these things are being implemented, you know, very precisely. Okay, it's like playing chess. All right, this devil knows exactly what he's doing. Okay, as the scripture says, he's wiser than Daniel, man. Okay, he's wiser than Daniel, man. So you think this devil don't know exactly what he's doing by doing this the way that he's doing it? All right, and as uh, we know, everything is moving digitally, man. Okay, including medical records, including passports. Uh with your cv19 okay so with all this fraud okay you got uh identity theft you got uh credit card fraud all these different frauds digital frauds okay which all lead to the mark of the beast and that's the 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 topic of this you know the basis of this okay of this uh lesson that all this is leading into the mark of the beast, man. Because as we said on the block, the mark of the beast will not only will you not only be will you not only be able to buy and sell, all right. Here it is, you won't be able to travel, okay. But it will have your medical records on it, okay. It does more than just buying and selling, okay. When you look into that technology, all right, and that would make things a whole lot more convenient, okay. And, and um, that way, you know, these cards won't be getting duplicated because there's a slow uh, rollout of the coveted vaccination, okay? The 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 CV19 uh, jab, okay? So all this stuff is going digital, okay? All by design, man. All right. And you know all again, all of this leads to the to the mark of the beast, man. Okay, which let's get the scripture. Let me do this. Alright. Um let's just get straight to bring the scripture out and then we'll close it. I just want to share this. Okay, because we mentioned it on the block. Let's go to the book of Revelation. Alright, 13. And of course we know the scripture by heart. All right, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, karagma, okay? Not marks, not plural. It ain't a million different things. It ain't embargoes, white women, uh, teaching the wrong. The man, oh boy, it's, it's a mark, man, okay, that's going to be inserted, okay? Uh, Karux, all right, a Karux. All right, it's going to be implemented into the human body. All right, it says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell. OK, because everything is digital. All right, you're going to have the only way to buy and sell is to have that mark. OK, the only way to go to your job, you're going to have that mark to go to the doctor. You have to have that mark to move about. You're going to have to have that mark. OK. In order to show certain things, whether you've been vaccinated, okay, whether you're able to, that mark is going to tell, uh, 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 it's going to have your, the history of you on there, okay? I don't know why, well, we know why. Jake is just simple, man, and rebellious, okay, to not acknowledge that that's what this is, okay? And prideful. Okay, Jake is definitely prideful, okay, because Jake don't want to accept it because of whom it's been revealed to, okay. Um, let's do this too. Let me just put Mark and Beast. I want to get the scripture in 14, okay. All right, because this is the penalty for taking it. All right, so don't take the mark of the beast. 
all right? Revelation 14 and 9, and the third angel followed me, followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, <clears throat> the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the heavenly father, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Okay. Again, we see all of this is what all this is leading to. Okay. This devil is not stupid. He knows exactly what he's doing. Okay. This plan has been in the making for, for hundreds of years. Okay. And here we're at the pinnacle of it. Okay. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Just something I want to share, you know. Okay, and I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory again to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. It's on to the next one. Until then, I say Shalom.